everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over three different Marvel Red Hulks, the build a figure the Legends, and the Diamond Select. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. This Red Hulk head is very nicely done. I love the hair. It's gray. It has a lot of wash on it. It's spiked and looks really cool. The ears are really tiny and very cute. And the teeth are spaced out a lot. The eyebrows are kind of weirdly done. Very underneath the brow instead of over the brow. It's kind of strange. The eyes are a piercing white. The articulation is nice and go left and right. Go up and down a little bit. A tiny bit of pivot. Works really well for a Red Hulk head. The body has very cartoony proportions. Very smooth very hand-drawn looking with a wash going down here. Articulation is pretty nice going forward and back pretty well with a swivel also. Looking really great. There's a lot of veins over by the neck too. Really great sculpt on that and the back is really nicely detailed. Looking super cool. Going around the front we get up and down for the arm and then all the way around with that. The swivel over here as well as a single jointed elbow going up this far. You get a swivel over here for this as well going down and then up and then you get some nice looking nails as well as finger joints over here looking awesome. There aren't jointed but they look nice as far as the sculpt and paint goes as well as getting some wash for the arm with a huge vein over here looking very angular looking very cartoony looking very Gendy Tartakovsky in a way the legs are very nicely detailed with the pants being the most detailed very interesting on that front really nice little seam lines with the pants looking great up here looks good too all in all it's too realistic I think for this figure looks really cartoony but it's super nicely done I think otherwise the legs are just very simple otherwise you have a nice wash over here as well as is the feet looking really great also. Underneath though it's a weird mishmash of kind of like clay. I don't know if this is a bootleg or not but it looks pretty cool anyways. There are copyrights on the bottom so that's kind of weird. And for as realistic as these pants look the articulation isn't really realistic. You go out this far and in. You can go up this far and then back. You do have a single joint knee going up this far and down with a swivel at this. No pivot or anything. And a down and up and that's it with the peg holes. So yeah strange. Red Hulk looks really cool in this iteration. He's super awesome and and it's very scary. This Red Hulk has darker hair. I got this one right before COVID. I got a few of them too. And they sold like hotcakes. It helped fund the rest of the collection that year. But anyways, this is a really great Red Hulk. Looking super cool. I love the detail on the face. All the wrinkles are great. Sort of puckering everything to the nose. With a snarl going down like it's about to hock a loogie or something. I love the ears are very nicely done. The hair, like I said before, is awesome from top to bottom. The eyes are a piercing yellow. And everything is really painted super nice. You get a swivel over here and up and down and some nice pivoting over here for this awesome Hulk head. As far as the body goes, the paint is applied really well in highlight spots as well as the veins and muscles are sculpted accordingly. Really huge, really rippling muscles in this guy. And the back is awesome too with these butterfly joints going back really far, but not really going forward that far, sadly. You also get up and down and then all the way around with a swivel over here and a swivel over here, a swivel over here, going up this far on the arm and going down and up this far over here, looking really nice. And it's just an awesome arm with some nice articulation over here, swivel over here a little bit, crunch, back and forth, not quite, and the swivel for the waist, looking awesome. The articulation isn't the best, but it works nice for the Red Hulk. And the legs we've seen before looking great, the toes are done really well too with the paint, and all the little strips and straps and mess ups on these pants are just super nicely done over here, as well as the highlights on the tops of the feet, looking great, and the little bottoms of the feet, they're very small, pudgy feet in a way. I do love how these look though, the pants are dark gray, looking awesome, but in contrast to the previous Hulk. You know, different colored hair, different colored pants, etc. Really nicely done for this and super cool. You do go out this far and in. You go up this far and then down. All the way down over here with this working out pretty okay. The swivel up here, no swivel down here. A down and up and then a pivot with two pegos upon the feet. Looking super nice for this Hulk. Rawr! In addition to fists, this red Hulk comes with gripping hands that look really nice on him. The nails are painted incredibly well and are super well done with nice articulation left and right up and down. When have you the same stuff we usually have. <sighs> but our third Hulk cast a mighty shadow right after this. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. 
The Marvel Select Red Hulk head sculpt looks incredibly ugly. I'm not a huge fan of this. It's really weird. I guess they were trying to do the all the other heads did with the spiky hair. This one's kind of strange and weird. The ears are strangely done. It's very too small almost. And the teeth are just awkward. The mouth is kind of done in a weird grimace. And they didn't do this right at all, sadly. You get a swivel over here and back and forth and not really too much pivot. It's kind of an awful head sculpt in a way. The body's just okay with random dark spots over over here instead of highlights it's very weird you get a lot of dark spots over here on the sides as well and it just doesn't look that great the back is just insane look at how far back this goes it's like these back muscles are not even real and it looks like a kid doing it on with a crayon in a way i don't know if this is some kind of like issue with mine or somebody else's but let me know in the comments if it is with yours at least very weirdly done for this but my worst part is that there are a lot of chips a lot of cracks this thing when you try to move it up like that and like that it does kind of like chip a little bit in a way so be very careful with that it does go all the way around pretty much really scarring the plastic over here you do get a single joint elbow going up this far down this far with a swivel right here at least when it wants to work there is some nice paint on the nails but only the thumbnails it's kind of it very bare bones and lackluster with only one swivel over here very sad and what a shame trying a different angle for the pants here they don't look that great at all once again just horribly done swivel and then a hint over here and up with a down and up and not really looking that great either with swivels up here and down here it's just sad and not really that great at all and there's our peg holes upon the feet for them but doesn't really make up for the lackluster figure this Hulk is with strange ape-like proportions just not my cup of tea and I got him years ago even before I started truly collecting Marvel Legends and for a height comparison of these three Hulks the Build-A-Figure Red Hulk stands at about seven and a half inches tall the Marvel Legends 2020 Red Hulk stands at about eight inches tall eight and a quarter and the Marvel Select Hulk stands at about nine and a quarter inches tall overall the red scares the Marvel Legends build a figure Hulk was nice for its time but I think it's been done much better since that being said I do like the cartoony aesthetic of it even if the pants don't really match the recently released Marvel Legends Hulk is excellent I love the highlights the muscles the sculpting the paint everything about it really sets the bar for what a Red Hulk should be. I would love an alternate smiling head, which all of them lack, but this one at least comes close to something really cool. The Diamond Select Hulk is a relic of its time. While it does not belong in a museum, it doesn't even belong on your shelf. It's a very lackluster figure with bad articulation, as well as bad sculpt and paint. Not even looking like an art piece, just looking like a really badly sculpted action figure. If you're a fan of Marvel, Marvel Legends, or the Hulk, or even Red Hulk, I would highly recommend the recently released Marvel Legends Hulk. He's awesome. Awesome. The rest are up to you. But make no mistake, why go Hulk when you can go red? So which Red Hulk is your favorite? The Build a Figure, the Legends, or the Select? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.